What's up, YouTube? I'm back again with some more of my amazing videos. And today, I'm going to be doing a review and combos on the Nerf Sling Fire. It's so fun. This is just so fun of a blaster. This thing is so fun. It's just an amazing little blaster, and it's just so fun to play around with. And on to the combos first, instead of a review first. We're just switching it up today. And let's get right into my personal combo. This is my personal combo for the Sling Fire. Don't have any optics, Cobra Mag. And I have a little bit of my own creation. And you guys, um, please comment down below if you want one of these. These are specially um, homemade magazine holders for they can go on stocks they can hold pouches they can hold more than mags if you guys want some they hold really nice they have a tight fit they can fit on any blaster as big as a hyper fire stock or bigger they were actually cut um, for a hyper fire stock but they work on sling fire stocks whatever kind of stock you want yeah and this is my personal combo they can fit bigger than six round mags the biggest I would go would be ten round mags and yeah, le leave a link in the comment down below. Leave a link in. Not, oh my God, no! Leave a comment down below in the in the comments if you want one of these. I will be. I think I will be selling these on Etsy. Etsy is a really cool um, shopping website. It's way better than eBay. It's basically a better version of eBay. And yeah, these are specially cut to hold blasters. And yeah, you can. Well, I have so many different colors and ranges and patterns. I have navy blue, blue, tons of other patterns. This pattern. I have 11 so far. Dual patterns, gray and black. These patterns. Whatever kind, kind you guys want, just comment down below. I will be selling these for like 5 bucks. These things that will be cheap. So get them while they're hot. Gray, I have any color you would ever want. It can be an octopus too. So you can fit on any blaster. Basically, really. And yeah, that is my personal combo for the Sling Fire. On to the next combo. Let's go. Here we have the Pistol Man's combo. No stop. 12 round mag. You can switch to 6 if you really wanted. This thing is pretty cool like this. It'd be a pretty cool underbelly like shotgun thing. Underbelly um that reaction rifle. Except it'd be mag fed, which would just, I would like that. Instead of like rough cuts being used. Yeah. This stock is very comfortable anyway. Very comfortable. I like the stock a lot. Ow. Pinch me. On to the next combo. Here we have the hunter combo. Oh yeah. This is basically for those hunters slash snipers out there who need scopes and barrel scop scopes to be even cooler. So you can snipe your friends from a long ways away. Be a little bit more efficient to just put your thumb in it and prime it forward if you're gonna be like a sniper. It does not. It does not have a bottom rail for a bipod, which sucks. You could put a mount a bottom rail on it, and yeah, it's kind of hard to access the jam door. But who needs that anyway? On to the next combo. Here we have the hunter slash sniper 2.0 with an even longer scope. And I can hit your friends from even super far away. 
and I didn't, I don't know if I pointed out this before, but six round mags, you only need six dark spirit, like sniper slash hunter. On to the next combo. The hunter slash sniper 3.0. An even longer scope. Wait, hold on, hold on. I don't think I can slide this one here because of this front part. Oh, I can't. I magically can slide it on here. There, now it's complete. Sniper status 3.4.0. Uh, this has got extra ammo. For in case you have 10 friends that you need to snipe. Nothing else to point out, and on to the next combo, let's go! And last but not least, the I need all that ammo combo. Not one, not two, but three six round mags, and not, and not one, but two. Twelve round mags, that's a total of like... Fifty-two total darts. Isn't that cool? That's freaking sweet, isn't it? Yeah, you could do that to your blaster. Just buy some of this stuff that I make. Yeah, for the win. And that, um, oh yeah, I have to do a review, that's right. Oh, time to do a review. Okay, so the sling fire is a lever action prime bli a blaster. It comes with a six round mag that is half clear. I say that because this side is not clear, but this side is. So you can see your ammo. Jam door up top. So you can see how everything works. No, it's just clear jams. And the stack is pretty comfortable. It has one tactical rail. It has an iron sight up front. No front attachment point. No stock attachment point. You can modify it to have one, but I am not going to do that. I would not take this thing apart. It just seems too complicated. And you, there's different methods of priming. Some people just fling it downwards and it'll prime. Um, I just prime like this. Or like this. You could bang your arm with the stock. But that's what. Doing this is for this is cool. Is it? This could work. Loading it up with a couple darts. By the way, the priming handle has to be in the always all the way forward position position to load a fresh mag in, and it has to be in all the all the way forward position to take out a mag. The mag release is right here, and I set up my little target bag. Shoot into that. Well, it works.
This will hurt your knuckles after a while if you have small hands. Did I put that? Where's that screw? I would have my Christi Christmas lights on, but mm, not right now. Too lazy. Yeah, these stocks are nice for putting my um mag holders on them. Along with hype fire stocks. These stacks do not mount on other blasters, even though that'd be cool. But they don't, unless you, like, integrate it into the, into it. Yeah, your knuckles will get red. I got tons of dirt in here. Yeah, this is a little dart catcher here that has a hole in the center of targets. It can hold mags on the sides. And this is compatible with every other Nerf mag. Yeah. Complicated to fire really fast with this. And, well, that is all for now. So, peace out, YouTube. I will see you in my other videos. And do not forget to subscribe.